This video is part of our How to Apply for Licensure as a Professional Engineer in Texas video series. Viewing any or all of these videos is intended only as a brief overview of the application process and is in no way comprehensive. We recommend watching the complete series in order. Thank you for watching. And welcome. Today I'm going to be talking to you about our online PE application. It is available on our homepage, engineers.texas.gov. The link is located here on the right hand side where it says apply for PE licensure. That'll take you here to our landing page, uh, which gives you a brief overview of what you can do, which is, of course, apply for the PE license, electronically fill out and submit the app, pay for the fee once you're done your application status when you come back and also see what deliverables you are missing. In order to start, go ahead and click apply for PE license. Uh, if you're a returning user, you can log in here. If it's your first time here, go ahead and click, click the click here to create an account link. That'll allow you to sign up. Once you're done filling this out, go ahead and click register. I already have an account, so I will log in. Once you log in, you will uh, land on our application overview page, uh, which basically tells you that you will get a PDF version for your records once you're done. Um, of course, if uh, you'll be able to save the application as you fill it out, log out, come back, uh, but you only have 30 days to complete it before your information is purged. There's also a little bit here about the criminal history record check, which we will cover in another video. And down here is the breakdown of the application by section. Um, whenever you're ready to fill out a section, you just click on it. You make the desired changes and always scroll down and hit the save and continue button. This is how you save your application uh, and have the ability to come back later and finish it at a, at a future time. You'll get the big green message, your last page was successfully saved. Of course, you can always go back to the application overview, and it'll give you information such as the last time it was updated, whether or not it's completed. Um, be sure to complete all the sections, at which point you'll be able to pay your application fee. Uh, 